Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to find the difference between two day time field in Salesforce and we are going to discuss this topic for Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic experience. So let's proceed and firstly learn how we find the difference between two day time fields. So when you are going to find the difference between two day time fields, we have to subtract one day time field from the another and the result is always in a difference between day or minute and second and if we subtract the daytime value directly we always get the result in fractions but we are calculating the difference between daytime field and we don't need the result in the subtraction for this we will use the salesforce various functions such as floor mode round and text so now let's proceed and learn to find out the difference between two daytime field in Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic edition. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Lightning edition. If your account is not open in a Lightning one, firstly move to the Lightning experience. After that you have to move to the main setup of the Lightning experience that is known as a home page. If you are not on that, you can click on this gear icon and from the gear icon, you have to choose the option of this setup. After that, you will move to the main home page of the Lightning experience and here you will get the option of the object manager on the navigation bar next to the home tab. Click on it and here you will get the list of all the objects that are available in Salesforce both the custom and the standard one now this time you have to choose the object in which you want to find out the difference between two daytime fields so now let's suppose i am going to show you the scenario for the lead uh, case and so i search for the lead in a quick find box and click on this lead label after that you will get a page where you will uh, get the option of a fields and relationship from the left side you have to click on this one as we are going to use the functions for getting the difference between two daytime field we have to create a new field for this and for creating the new field we have to click on this field and relationship and then we have to click on the new option so as you click on the new option you will get the list of the various field types that are available in salesforce now from these field type you have to choose the one as we are going to use the multiple functions for finding out the difference between two daytime field, we have to use the formula field. For this, you have to click on the radio button next to the formula and click on the next button to proceed. After proceeding to the next step, you have to enter the field label first. And for entering the field label, here I enter the field label as a total time period. And when I click on the field name, it automatically gets populated. Now, when you scroll down, you can see that it shows that the formula return type. So you can see that it had various uh, field types. Now you have to choose the one in which your formula gives the return value. So I want to get the return value in a text format. So I click on the radio button next to the text one and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now, in this step, it asked me to enter the formula. So here you can see that here it has a box for the advanced formula, which calculates the total time period in the text format, which is the difference between two daytime fields that I'm going to pass. Now you can see that on the left side, we have a various function and on the top, you have a category of all function categories from here. You can choose the date and time field. And from here, you can choose all the functions that you are need needed for calculating the difference between two date time field and as we are going to get the result in the text format so we also need the text function for this you have to click on the drop down here from you can select the text category and from here you will get the text function you can also choose it from here so now let's enter the formula for calculating the difference between two date time field so here I enter the formula and I click on this check syntax button to check whether that this formula have any error or not. So you can see that it shows me that there is no syntax error in this formula. If you have an error, it shows you the error. Now I explain you this formula. Basically here we are finding the difference between two date time fields called end date time double underscore C and the start date time double underscore C. Double underscore C indicates that these are the custom field. 
okay and it provides the result in a day or minute and second format now here we first check that if the number of days is greater than the zero it returns that the number of the days between the two dates followed by the word days so from here you can see that it calculate from here it checks if the end date minus start date is a greater than zero and here we are using the floor function also and then we are using the text one and from here if we get the result in the text format and adding the days also basically next we calculate the number of hours between the two dates using the mod function and here you can see that with the floor function we are also using the mod function to get the remainder after dividing the time duration by 24 so here i am dividing the time duration by 24 hours if the value is greater than zero it returns the number of hours followed by the word hours here is the word that is followed and if not it returns an empty string that's why i passed the empty one after dividing the duration of by the one or the formula then determines the number of minutes in the next step i am going to find the number of minutes that exist between two dates using the mode function and here i am using the mode function and the value is rounded to the nearest minute using the round function so here i am using the mode and the round function both and return the result with the word minutes after it and here i am adding the word minutes after that i am dividing the duration by one minute the formula determines the number of seconds so here i am finding the number of seconds by using this between the two dates using the mode function and it provides the value to the nearest closest seconds using this round function and here i add the word seconds along it then the sum of the numbers of a days hours minutes and the second is concatenated together with the help of the this and operator basically this here is the and operator that concatenate the result of all such fields this and operator basically concatenates one thing to another so this concatenate function only works with the text function that's why we are using the text one so here we check the syntax now if you want to give the description you can give it if you want to give the help text you can give it if you want to handle uh, the blank fields you can even handle it after that you have to click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this step we have to establish the field level security so here we are going to select the profiles to whom we want to grant the edit access to this field so if you not give the access to a profile you are not able to edit it so i am going to give the access to all the profiles so i click on the checkbox next to a visible and click on the next button to proceed now in this step we have to add the field to the page layout in this time we have to choose the page layout in which we are going to add this field and this field is shown as the last column of the page layout so here are the page layouts in which i am going to add this after that i click on the save button as i have completed my process so with this we have successfully created a formula fields that calculates the difference between two date time field values now let's check whether it's work or not so i click on the app launcher and from the app launcher i click on the lead now here i randomly choose any lead and move to the details so here i have uh, some technical issue from the back end of the salesforce so it is giving me an error so in your case you will get the result on the basis of your start time and the end time so this error is because of the back end issue not any some formula error this is due to the salesforce error okay we can't uh, rectified so now let's proceed and learn to uh, find out the difference between two uh, date time value fields in a classic also so i click on my profile uh, that is on a right side and from here i click on the option of a switch to a salesforce classic 
so it redirects me to the classic experience of a salesforce now from here you will see that on the top we have a option of a setup that is between your name and the help option so i click the setup it's moved to the salesforce classic step uh, setup i scroll down and move to the build section that is on the left side from here i click on the drop down named as a customize now here it shows me here uh, all the objects that are available in salesforce now it's time to choose the object that i used for finding out the difference between two date time value fields so from here i choose the contract one so here is the contract i click on the drop down and from here i click on the fields option as we are going to create a new field that find out the difference between two date time fields when i scroll down here i get a section of a contract custom fields and relationship from here i click on the new option as i am going to create a new field for this so as i click on a new it shows me the field types that are available in salesforce now it's time to choose the field type that helps you to find the difference between two date time values and it's only work for the formula case so i click on the formula radio button and move to the next step now in this step you have to choose the output type and give the field label so here i give the field label as a contract time period and when i click on the field name it automatically populated by scrolling down i get the option of a formula return type now it's time to return choose the return type of the formula i choose the text as a return type and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now it moves to the page where i have to enter the formula and you can see that it is in advanced formula box that calculates the contract time period which is the difference between two date time fields now we have to enter the formula so for entering the formula we also need some functions for it on left side on the right side we have a function section and from here right click on the functions categories and here i have a date time function categories i click on it i get the all the date time functions that are needed for calculating the difference between two date time fields and i also need the text one so i choose the text one from the text category also so now i enter the formula and then i explain you so here you can see that i enter the formula and click on the check syntax button it shows that there is no error in this syntax of the formula now i explain you basically here i am creating the formula to calculate the duration between activate underscore date underscore underscore c and the valid underscore up to underscore c field in hours and minutes only so here basically i calculate the numbers of or by subtracting the activate field from the valid field and multiplying the result by 24 hours to convert it into an or so next you can see that here i round down the result using the floor function and convert the result to the text using the text function and after that if the number of ors is less than 10 a zero is added to it and then i calculate the number of minutes by subtracting the activate field from the valid up to field and multiplying the result with the 1440 and convert it into the minutes then for taking the remainder i divide the result by 16 using the mode function so here i am using the mode function also and the result is rounded down to the zero decimal places using this round function and to convert the result into the text format i use the text function and if the number of minute is less than 10 a zero is added to it and then the final output is combined and displayed in the format of a or than a minute so if you want to add description or help text you can add you can even handle the blank field of this contract object then you have to click on the next option to proceed and in this option you have to set the field level security you 
have to give the sys to the profiles to whom you want to give the sys to edit this field so here i click on the visible checkbox as i want to allow this edit option of this field to all the profiles and after that i click on the next button to proceed to the next step here i have to choose the page layout in which i want to add this field so i choose the contract page layout which include this field as a last column and i click on the save button to complete the process now to check that whether it works or not i click on this plus icon tab and from here i search for the contracts object so here i choose my contracts object i choose any contract from it and here i click on this edit option as i am going to edit the valid up to date so here i am going to choose the march as a month and then i am going to choose the this one and here i am changing the time to and then i click on the save so you can see that it shows the contract time as a 0 minus 74.00 because it's a track the activate date and the valid up to date date time fees so with this we have learned how to find the difference between two date time fields in cs first classic also So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day